Hey guys, Chris Patchley here, and what are you doing? What do you want? What's this? A letter? Okay. Because we left the EU, we have to do this on a budget. Okay, why not? I don't even know what... Well, here's your budget review. Just pick up patience and time and fuck off. Hey guys, Chris Batchigo here. Um, I figured I'd just do that as a little joke. <laughs> anyway, in with the review. Mark 44 standardized for the Titans, discipline strength 59 and 60, increases the duration of shoulder charge by 4 seconds, and you get a tighter turn radius while sprinting. This can, I, I believe this actually kick, this counterbalances the uh, right side camera scrolling that some players do get. I know I get that problem a lot. A couple people that I'm friends with get that problem as well. But uh, the Stanisite perk might actually help fix that a little bit. But to have to rely on that when you're playing as a Titan is a bit bullshit. In any case, um, let's see what we have here. We have fusion rifle ammo and rocket launcher ammo with arc double down. I would actually recommend re-rolling these for uh, an intellect discipline roll. The rocket launcher ammo is good, but uh, for me, fusion rifles are not my style. Snipers have always been my style. If you've stuck around on the channel, you'll know sniping is me 100% all over now. But uh, I would say it's okay. I would say it's worth picking up and re-rolling it a couple of times over to see what you can get. For the hunters, you get the lucky raspberry intellect discipline 68 and 62. Arc bolt grenades chain further. What this means is it has a slight more luck. Not more luck. What am I saying? I just I just read the perk and luck just came straight out. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, this will chain to one more target, and it will chain slightly further. And every time you spawn into some form of crucible game or when you respawn better yet, you will have full grenade energy 100% of the time. Now, of course, we have increases to intellect and discipline. We have scout rifle ammo and shotgun ammo. Solo recovery and arc armor. Arc armor is intrinsic to the Lucky Raspberry no matter what you do. Uh, Lucky Raspberry is still popular among gunslingers and night stalkers because of the grenade respawn. But, uh... This is definitely still a good exotic. I recommend you do, you do pick this one up. If you do, this is not the best exotic for Blade Dancers though. In my opinion, it's definitely the ATS-8 Tarantella, which I still don't have. <laughs> then anyway, for the Warlocks, we have the Claws of Ahamkara, one of the best Warlock exotics in the game at the moment. Strength of 69, that works. The main perk, is the whispers gain an additional charge for or for all warlock charged melees this will give you an additional flame shield an additional thunder strike and an additional energy drain melee this is very very powerful now there are a lot of builds here but uh, what i'm going to tell you right now is if you use the monte carlo as a storm caller with a maximum range storm trance you will cross map people with this damn thing <laughs> Now we have increases to discipline and strength, we have snap discharge, increases melee attack speed, momentum transfer and gain bonus melee, energy on grenade hits, auto rifle loader and rocket launcher loader. Honestly, snap discharge and auto rifle loader are what you want here because uh, obviously getting your melees off faster and being able to reload something like Monte Carlo faster is perfect. It's definitely something worth going for. And as I said in the start of the video, just pick up Patience and Time and fuck off. Patience and Time is still a very good sniper. It can now rest snipe in the Crucible and in Trials of Osiris. Let's just quickly get into the weapon. We have Field Choke, CQB Ballistics, and Aggressive Ballistics. In my opinion, go with Aggressive Ballistics. It gives you that little bit more impact. We have Third Eye. Raider stays active while aiming down this weapon's sights. This means that you can just kind of watch a choke point or watch a revive a little bit longer and kind of be safe in thinking you're not about to get flanked. I mean, obviously your radar doesn't see very far. You probably won't see someone sniping you across another choke point or something, but uh, in any case, we have custom optics, precision glass for lower zoom and wider view. 
fitted stock increases weapon stability and field scout. Now, this can be interesting. If you don't have like double sniper ammo on your chest piece and your leg armor, go with field scout. If you do, go with fitted stock for that stability boost. This is already a very powerful exotic. I do want to take this into the crucible just to kind of showcase it for you guys, and I will try to. Uh, although I'm not sure I'm going to have a lot of time to do it over the weekend. I'm not sure if I can, but uh, I'll do my best. Anyway, the main perk is patience and time. You gain active camouflage while aiming down the sights. This is timed, of course. Um, you have to be aiming for, I believe, a full second before the camouflage can even kick in, and even then, the camouflage doesn't last all that long, but it does stack up with Shadow Jack, I believe. I think it does, anyway. But anyway, um... This can be okay. The red, the red glint from your sniper, that uh, other players can see in the crucible. Uh, this can be seen still. This does not get camouflaged away with patience and time. It's just you that goes away with it. But uh, anyway, I would say you can pick it up for sure. Now for the legacy engrams, it's helmets. All helmets have been moved into year two from the previous year, so there's no real point to picking up a legacy engram now. And not to mention, it's 29 strange coins. It's still extremely expensive. Now getting into the curios, we have the plasma drive and void drive to make rare sparrows into legendary sparrows. The heavy ammo synthesis at one strange coin for three packs of heavy. This three of coins for seven strange coins for five three of coins. And the glass needles for three strange coins, three modes of light and one exotic shard. And finally, the motor light exchange. That is getting to be a breathful. Anyway, guys, that's been your uh, inventory review. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.